So it's more expensive to get an Uber here than at any other airport in the nation. Fees for travelers using ride hailing apps at this popular airport will soon surge 20%. And I'm about to prove to you how you drivers in Orlando get played, right? Because you're falling for Uber's shenanigans. And I'm about to explain to the riders how you are getting played by Uber and Lyft at Orlando Airport. So here it says next time you're planning to get to or from Florida's Orlando International Airport via a ride hailing app, it might be worth it to find an alternative way of transportation. That is for the rider. And it definitely makes sense. But let, let's, let's dive into this topic here. Because studying Dara Koshashawi, having a master's in psychology, I can tell you right now that he is a master, a master of not taking responsibility and pushing costs and expenses onto others, namely the drivers, namely the riders. Now, Orlando, right? Why are you accepting crap? Why are you accepting the nonsense? Why are you taking these little onesies and twosies and threesies, right? You are only setting yourself up for your own demise, right? If you are not able, Orlando, I'm specifically talking to the drivers, to rally together, to strike, to boycott, to protest at these airports and take a stand, they will walk over you. Daraka Shashawi knows your weakness in Orlando and he will exploit it. He will exploit drivers and he will exploit riders. He's good at that, right? And so here it says, drivers, contact Orlando airport leadership. Hey, I, Daryl Kushashaw, we don't want to take responsibility. I don't want to bear these costs. You guys, you guys go and contact uh, Orlando airport. Um, and he says, go and contact their leadership. I say to Daryl Kushashaw, your leadership is weak because you are not able to deal with this problem. Instead of confronting the issue, confronting the airports, you're trying to play everyone. They're trying to play the airport. Oh, let's be nice and happy and friendly with the airport. Let's play the drivers. Let them take responsibility and handle this. And guess what, riders? Your fees are going up, right? So the per trip pickup tax for the Orlando airport would increase by 20% effective August the 1st. Email airport leadership. So divert the problem. Now, we're not going to deal with it right? We're not going to deal with it. Our hands are clean. You guys go deal with it. Orlando, wake up. Wake up. This is not your job. This is not your responsibility, right? You need to rise to the occasion. You guys need to organize a strike at the airport and shut it down, right? Show Orlando, the management, you're not going to tolerate the BS. Shut the airport down. They know that this is a tourist airport. They will exploit everyone and i'm talking about orlando management right airport management stand up and organize a strike at the airport you do two things right you send a message to airport management and you send an, a, a clear message to uber we're not going to tolerate the shit you guys sort this out right now uber doesn't want to pass on the fares to the rider they go oh, we have to be very very careful we don't want to upset the little rider at least the editor of that article said, hey, it's going to get very expensive there, right? Nobody's taking responsibility at the airport or at Uber. You're going to bear the cost. So find an alternative. And guess what, dear rider? I would do exactly that. I, I wouldn't um, take the nonsense of, of airport management or of Uber. As a rider, I would say, you know what? I'm going to find a cheaper alternative, right? And drivers, if you do not rise up here, here they said last week, Orlando Airport Leadership informed Uber that the per trip pickup tax, the airport charges would increase by 20% effective August the 1st. The pickup fee will increase from $5.80 to $6.35 and on October 1st from $6.35 to $7, making it the highest pickup tax in the country. And, and, and guess who takes on that extra cost, right? 
not so much the riders. They're going to dump this on the driver. Oh, by the way, they we're not the bad guy. Orlando is. But driver, don't you see the issue here? Uber is too afraid to upset or confront Orlando Airport. This here clearly shows you they are incapable. There's no leadership at Uber to take on Orlando Airport. So what they're doing is they are playing you. And they want you to contact and make a stink to the airport. This is not your job. Your job is to go out there, strike at the airport, right? Stop accepting nonsense trips, right? Stop being a desperado, taking every bit of crap. Because once they know you take every bit of crap, every little crappy ride, they will walk over you. This is how Dara Koshashawi functions. This is his mentality, right? Oh, they accept the nonsense. They will accept more nonsense, right? We've already schooled Orlando to accept nonsense. This is your golden opportunity to shine, Orlando drivers, and to rise up to the occasion. You want to shut that airport down. You have to take a stand and say, Orlando Airport Management, not with us. Uber, not with us. Watch Watch, if you put the strikes, not just one, two, but three in a row on Orlando Airport and organize their get together, right? Like this, not, not fractured like you guys are taking crap here, cherry picking here. You guys are all over the show in Orlando. And I got, I got to say it as it is because I'm very, very direct, right? The Orlando crowd does not know how to stand up for themselves. They accept everything, and by accepting everything, the company will walk over you. They will chew you up and spit you out, Orlando, if you do not know how to grab this bull by its horns. I'm giving you, I'm giving you the recipe. I'm giving you the roadmap, and the roadmap is finally take a stand and shut that airport down, right? That is the only way you are going to win this game. It's the only way you're going to get the respect from Uber. It's the only way you're going to get some changes at Orlando. Don't let Uber have you do the dirty work and email them and plead to them. No, you shut them down. So this increase has been announced without the opportunity for drivers like you to be heard. It does not matter. Drivers don't have to be heard. Orlando management is telling Uber this is what's going to go down. And because they are too weak at Uber, they are too weak at Lyft to confront this or to stand up against this airport management, they're quietly pushing it on you. Can you see what's happening here? Right? How, how much clearer can I make it to you, Orlando? You are being played. So the Orlando airport has scheduled a workshop to discuss this tax next Monday. Go show up there, Daryl Kosha, shall we? Get it sorted out. Don't send your troops there, right? Uh, July the 31st at 11 a.m. at the Orlando Airport Langford boardroom. What you need to do, Orlando, is at 11 a.m. you go and strike at that boardroom. You go and bring the banners. You go and shut the airport down. They say send an email to Orlando, oh, to tell Orlando Airport leadership to reconsider the tax and keep rideshare affordable. No, let me rephrase that. Daryl Koshashawi, contact Orlando Airport leadership from your poor leadership and tell them, no, we are not going to put up with this nonsense, right? That's the way you handle it. But there is no leadership at Uber. See, what he's cleverly doing is all the time is diverting the costs, right? You saw the nonsense that they try to do with Uber and Pursuit, right? Trying to convert desperate Uber drivers into soft in, software engineers, giving them internships with the promise of making $85,000. But if you last for a whole year as an intern, you're going to make about 18 grand at most. No job um, guaranteed. This is how you're constantly being played, right? And I have no time for the weak drivers, for the desperate drivers. They are constantly walking into the spider web, walking into the trap of Uber. If you do not, if you have not seen the light, and if you have not seen what is happening to you, how you're being played, right? You will constantly, constantly be the sheep, the follower.
right? You have an opportunity to be a leader here. You have an opportunity to rise up against Orlando Airport, Orlando drivers and Uber and Lyft management. Take a stand, grow some balls and be someone that can make a difference. Not this like, amen, amen, yes, I will, yes, I will, sir. Enough of that, Orlando, right? And I look at Orlando a lot, and it, 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 it upsets me that half of the people really want to make money and make a difference in Orlando, and the other half just accept and swallow and take the crap. Nada, niet, nein, nichts, no, don't fall for the nonsense right airport officials just announced that the airport is increasing passenger pickup fees for ride shares which automatically make it the most expensive um place in the country to take a ride sharing service both to and from the airport right and 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 dear ride if you are facing these astronomical inc um, um, fees stick it to the company why why are you taking an uber why are you accepting those terms you have choices right as fox orlando reports the current pickup fee at the airport is 580 it is expected to go up to 635 in august that's a 20 percent increase my friends and that's money that they want you to pay dear orlando driver that sadly isn't all by october the airport is planning to get it up to seven dollars in comparison uber told WESH that the pickup fee at Tampa International Airport is $5. At Miami International Airport, the fee is $2, right? That's a very steep 20% increase. And according to Uber, that's the highest fee of any airport in the ride hailing app operates. And they want you, dear driver, to absorb that cost, right? You just, you saw, I just proved it to you. You go and contact them and complain. They have an army of attorneys, right? We know already that they have poor leadership. This poor leadership is not able to reach out to Orlando and say, you know what? No, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's a 20% increase, Uber spokesman Javier Corisado told Fox Orlando. And, and, and Uber spokesman Javier Corisado, so grow some balls, dude. Take these guys on. Don't throw your drivers under the bus. Who are you? Are you some in weak individual that cannot take responsibility and you're shifting this blame onto your drivers? Grow up, man. Grow up. This is going to have a negative impact on both Uber drivers and Uber riders. Yes, it will if you guys don't do anything about it uh, because they're going to be paying more and that could have a negative impact on the earnings for drivers. It will have a negative impact on earnings for drivers because you are unable to stand up and show leadership, Javier. Where is your leadership? Instead of sending out a mail, oh, you guys need to go and contact drivers. Go and contact the airport. Go and show up there at 11 a.m. No drivers, I'm giving you the alternative. Shut the show down. Sh shut the shit down. Shut Orlando Airport down. Rally together and finally, whether it's the willing drivers and the desperado drivers, you guys need to come together and have a game plan. If you don't have a game plan, they will stampede you. They will walk over you again and again and again. And you're going to carry the cost and you're going to make less and less and less money. Don't come crying to my channel and send me this thing. Oh, they're like increasing the fees over here. You have the ability to do something about it. Grow some balls. Get out there and shut that airport down. This is an issue that was negotiated and resolved when the operating agreement was signed in July of 2017, and we are not renegotiating it. Greater Orlando Aviation Authority CEO Kevin Tibalt told, all right, Kevin, then you have to face the consequences, right? Then you have to have your people arriving at your airport being pissed off with Orlando Airport, right? because you are not willing, right? This is what you signed into effect. You know, basically, you know, signing off and gonna rape these drivers, we don't care. We'll make you care, Kevin. We'll make you, Kevin. Tibalt will make you care. Drivers, shut the airport down. 
Others have showed you how to do it. New York has shown you how to do it. LA has shown you how to do it. It is time for Orlando drivers to get together and rise up to the occasion. For now, other ride hailing services like Lyft, to whom the price increase will still apply, haven't commented on the changes. Well, David Risha, you're not commenting. Is silence is going to make this go away, right? Is silence going to resolve the issues? No, it won't. So they're not resolving it either, shows poor leadership. They are not willing to take on Kevin Tibalt and say, listen, it doesn't work this way, right? We are not going to be paying and paying and paying and paying. You're not going to be the number one airport in the country exploiting drivers and riders. And riders take a stand. If need be, you know, find a different way. Reroute your flights. Don't go through Orlando. Don't visit Orlando. Right. I mean, it, it, it all depends what they want, want you to pay at the end of the day. Right. You've got to have some integrity here. You've got to have some spine. Right. You've got to be able to stand up against individuals like Kevin or Javier. Right. Oh, shift the blame, shift the blame, shift the blame. You are supposed to absorb this hit, dear drivers. No, you're not. What are you going to do? You're going to shut the airport down.